Yeah, this guy went from shining star to black hole, but he's not burning out yet. He's claiming badly made parts are burning out, and that's why Pink Energy's now in the red. And I've never lied or cheated or stole from anybody, and I never will. Jason Waller, CEO and founder of Pink Energy, AKA Power Home Solar, has a lot of problems. Generac, Generac, Generac. His company, by his own admission, was worth a billion dollars at the beginning of the year. And now he says it's worth half that. Generac. He says he's had to close offices, lay off employees. Generac. His salespeople were caught on Fox 2 undercover cameras lying. You know, Ford Field is all solar, right? No. It's 100% solar. And he's currently under investigation by the Michigan Attorney General's Office for alleged violations of the Michigan Consumer Protection Act. Generac. 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 And while I'm going to ask him about all this, I got a spoiler alert for you. It's not his fault. It's... Generac, Generac, Generac. And I'm not the villain because I've been successful before Pink Energy. I'm not the villain because I had a podcast. The villain here is Generac. Today I'm sitting down with Jason Waller. He's been promising me an interview since before I did my first story on his company in April. But the self-dubbed billion dollar CEO didn't really like that story much. I was hurt. I was embarrassed. I spoke to some of his unhappy customers who claim Power Home sold them super expensive solar energy systems. Well, my total loan is for, was $47,000 for the equipment, and then my interest is over $20,000. And they told me their systems weren't saving them much money, if any, on their electric bills. Your bill, like, last year at this time was like 103 or something like that? Yes. And now what is it? 105. On top of that, customers have to pay for the solar panels and solar system Jason Waller's company sold them. $203.50 a month. For how long? For until I'm 60 years old, so 30 years. I was appalled by how the sales reps carried themselves on the video. Yeah, I also caught three separate solar salespeople on undercover camera. Paul. You don't have any of this here in there, do you? What? Vape. No, that's fine who hit a vape pen during his sales pitch and promised our undercover customer a government rebate check for the $80,000 system he was proposing. The federal government's gonna pick up 26% of your gross total system costs. All right, so that is in the form of a check. Salesman Sanjeet did the same thing. I wanna get $15,000. Yeah, $15,000 back. I'm in front of the federal tax. But customers I talk to say they never got the checks promised. It's absolutely false. Everything they tell you is a lie. My undercover cameras also caught Dave, who claimed, even in cloudy old Michigan, that he could design a system that would take his customer totally off the DTE power grid. They produce on rainy days, foggy days, cloudy days, snowy days. I mean, it's great. Uh... Sure. I'm not the only one who got a bunch of complaints about Jason Waller's company. Attorney General Dana Nessel did too. Last month, the judge found that probable cause exists to believe that Waller's company violated the Michigan Consumer Protection Act, and she granted investigators permission to issue subpoenas. Does that scare you? It does not. We, we're dealing with this in a few other states because of the issues with the generic product failure and the high rise of complaints. We will get Michigan uh, AG up to speed, and just like we have the other AGs. Remember, I told you Jason was going to blame Generac, so let's get into Jason's beef. We were misled just like they were from Generac. In 2020, Power Home announced they were partnering with Generac to provide backup solar batteries and other parts. In particular, something called a Snap RS. About the same time my story aired, Waller claimed he discovered these Snap RS parts were defective. Well, we've replaced 50,000 of them thus far and counting. Here's a video Jason gave us explaining the problem. Due to the Generac firmware update, when even one of the Snap RS devices fail within a power zone, the entire power zone is turned off. This shows up on the inverters a PVRSS lockout error, so one can easily see in this illustration that with one out of 24 of these Snap RS devices failing, the system is working at two thirds of its potential. Pink Energy Power Home Solar is suing Generac. 41% of people's systems are failing where they have to send firmware and shut it down. That should be a national recall. That's where our customers are the victims here. The folks at Generac disagree. 
We believe Pink Energy may be hoping to distract customers from the many complaints and allegations that reportedly have been leveled against them regarding poor installation and service, as well as public accounts of dubious marketing claims and sales tactics. And it's those dubious marketing claims that the Attorney General says may have violated the Michigan Consumer Protection Act. Attorney Mark Frankel explains. The Consumer Protection Act is designed to keep businesses from cheating consumers, regardless of how they end up cheating to them. The essence is you can't lie to a consumer and get away with it. In the AG's complaint, Power Home promised a customer named George that George's only bill would be $15 to $20 per month, but George still averages at least $150 per month in electric bills and also pays $311 per month for the solar panel system. That sounds like what the customers in my story said. Also, George was promised a $17,000 tax credit like the customers in my story. He never got it. George is just one of 75 complaints the Attorney General's office has heard from starting back in 2017. That's way before Generac entered the picture. And Jason's company has been sued for unfair trade practices in Ohio, Missouri, and North Carolina. So the system cost is 57K. Jason says the sales guys in my story were fired and says he's overhauled his sales department and how they sell again. At that time, they were at commission only. Now they make a salary plus an override of a sale. So now we can really distinguish and pick a higher level crop person of who's going to go into the home. I mentioned to Jason that it appears many of his salespeople weren't licensed. Power Home Pink Energy is a licensed maintenance and alteration contractor, which means his sales staff have to be licensed. If not, both the salesperson and Power Home Solar would be breaking the law. It's illegal for the salesperson to act without a license, and it is illegal for Power Home Solar to employ a, employ a salesperson or work with a salesperson who is not licensed to them and have them doing sales activities. So are his salespeople licensed now? We are onboarding and doing just that. I don't know the details of that, but we are onboarding and doing just that. What does onboarding mean? They're either all licensed or they're not. Power Home Solar changed their name to Pink Energy the same week my story aired, which Jason admitted was devastating. They changed their name, they're having these issues, you know, they're hiding. And that's the last thing we did. Jason says it was just rebranding, but he failed to mention he's just settled a two-year-long copyright infringement lawsuit with a company called Power Home Remodeling Group, who claims Power Home Solar's web pages even look like theirs. And then there's Jason himself, who is a pretty flamboyant guy with a podcast, a book, and a high living high profile. It infuriates me to see the guy on TV plastered all over the place, living high on the hog, off of everybody's misery and sorrow. You looked like a villain to those people. If these you complaints look like didn't the happen, evil though. rich villain and guy. And you know who the real villain is? Generac. What Generac's alleged faulty part has to do with Jason's image is beyond me. Do you think that you took your eye off the ball as a CEO by trying to promote yourself? Not at all. Uh, I was spending maybe an hour at most on a podcast a week to do that. My eye has always been on the ball. But since 2020, with the transition to Generac, we're talking 10,000 plus customers with failing systems not working, with their systems not producing what they're supposed to, with the potential of thermal or fire at their home. That is the real thing at question here. That has nothing to do with me promoting a podcast or promoting a book. That has to do with Generac selling a product out of a box not working. Okay, Jason, but after our interview, I visited Karen. She got her system from Power Home in 2018, before Jason Waller's company started using Generac parts. Does her solar energy system work as promised? No, no, absolutely not. And you don't have any Generac parts? No, no, we are, no, don't have any of those. And take a look, no Generac Snap RS pieces, no Generac parts at all. You would not recommend Power Home Solar, AKA Pink Energy? Never, ever. You, they call you, you see them, you run the other way. Now that lady Karen continues to have problems even though I told Jason she needed real help. She was supposed to have her system serviced today and says the company called 
and canceled. Jason Waller says he's closed his Metro Detroit office in Troy this week and laid off another 500 employees. Bonnie, who we featured in our first story, says her system is now working and she's happy. The other customers were either still having problems or declined to comment.